Hello YouTube, what's good? Welcome back. It's Yamakara with another Factorio Ultra Mega Island Death World. <laughs> uh, in this video, we are going to uh, try and expand a little bit and uh, make our base a bit bigger. Um, <clears throat> we're pretty constantly fighting now. Uh, there is really no calm before the storm. It's just a constant war. It doesn't matter where you look on the minimap. I think we're fighting. A group swarming there. There's a group starting to swarm there. There's guys fighting here. Bots trying to traverse the lake. Uh, but we need some more resources too. So we might uh, push down here and try and grab that while it's in the forest anyways. Maybe burn the whole forest down too. Why not? Why not? Also was indicated that this was not working properly. Just a bit backed up with incorrect resources. Should be good now though. We are totally backlogged on iron right now, though. Um, we should probably just utilize more resources while we're backlogged like this. So our labs look like they're doing... Okay. How's our power doing? It's okay, too. What looks like it's slow? I think we just need more labs, really. Might uh, relocate the lab setup, then. We can't really sneak too much more in this setup over here anymore. It's pretty jam-packed. How's our green chips? Oh, green's really bad. Let's do green. Let's go boost some green here. And copper. So copper's clearly not keeping up anymore. Iron, uh, we added quite a bit more to that, so it's probably okay for a bit. We'll keep those guys going for the next foreseeable future. This doesn't need to be here anymore. We have retired those turrets. Enjoy early retirement. We're going to grab some more mining drills. We're just going to make this a bit faster. And to grab more, I need uh, some iron plates. Is that it? Make the copper go a bit faster. <laughs> everywhere you look. Flames. Flames everywhere. This factory. This factory. Makes me shake my head. And they're building nice defenses too. We're missing quite a few bots I think. We have uh, 100 bots only, and every single bot is working. Actually, looks like our red science is too slow. It's quite easily boosted there. Cause it's not backing up at all anymore, red science. It could be lacking copper. Could have been its issue. Regardless, we will fix it. We could do some long uh, inserters here and grab the coal from the bottom, but I'd be worried it's also going to grab the stone as well. So we will not do it like that. Something like that. And then on that side we'll have a uh, gobber. Beautiful. Beautiful. Worked out uh, very nicely. Put those guys there. Boom. More copper. Easy game. It's nice though. Um, what else? Want some more mining drills. More mining drills. We're going to mine out that entire copper deposit, and then we'll move on with our life. The first thing I think I'll be getting more green chips. We need some belts here, too. Belts are... I know they're on the belts here, but I think we have a chest somewhere as well. It's down there. 
I generally build at the beginning of my bus, my quote unquote bus. But uh, sometimes you just can't find it. And that is why people don't like spaghetti. That is exactly the reason why. Sometimes it can be hard to find things. Hmm. Hmm. He says. Then we can grab a splitter and we'll pull off the bottom there. If it's not going to use it all, we will pull it out a sep separate uh, separate line. I could start right there. And you go here. Look at that. So now we'll have more furnaces kicked on. Everybody will be happy. Give them a couple more. And there we go. Looks like red is still not backing up on me. Red is still a tiny bit slow. It's probably a lot better now, though. So we got advanced electronics queued up. What do we want next? Maybe mining productivity? Eh. Meh. Nah. Nah. Let's go for something else. Let's go with the military three and then we'll get a tank going soon. We have tons of military backed up, so we are ready. Um if we start looking at the mini-map, our starting area was about this this circle here. And the biters have already taken up residence in a lot of the area. So here, here, here. Uh probably over there as well. So anywhere that it was easy to claim doesn't exist anymore. So wherever we want to start claiming space, it's gonna be a battle. There is no more easy fights, sadly. But that's just how it goes. That is just how it goes. Let's get some more uh, green chips going here. We have our copper and our iron, but we'll do it down here somewhere. More green chips. Uh, we do need fast inserters for the uh, copper because they pull so much. Fast is required here. Especially for the copper. Copper is still pretty bad. Is there another copper deposit near us that we can utilize too? There's a few, but... It's not going to be easy to get to. These attacks are pretty substantial. But the flames, so good. So good. You should be good there now. Hmm. Just thinking how I'm going to pull the uh, copper out here. There's a lot of places I could grab it. Like right here. It does look like it's actually backlogging now, so. This could be okay. We're going to grab belts, make some undergrounds, and uh, go from there. Going to grab them from the actual chest this time. I just disconnected the power line there. I'll grab some of those too. Why not? Have some wood. So we have our copper line sneaking out right here. Oh, it almost lines up perfectly. We will kick it all over. Um, there was no need for where it originally was. It doesn't really matter where it is if it's a little bit more forward or backwards. But this is just a bit cleaner. So you're going to be our copper cable. So we'll shift right click and shift left click. Copy, copy, paste. Same thing for our chips. You go there. So each building in this design hits two different buildings. I am a fan of this design. Is it the best? Mm, probably not. There's probably better out there, but I do like it a lot. 
seems to be mostly efficient. So that goes there. And then there's space for power lines. It's just a nice, simple design. Simple and it works. What more do you want? And then we need an iron line now. So iron's pretty easy to pull out. We can just grab it right here, actually. I love these splitters like that, where it swaps the resource side. Such a such a fun setup. This can get pushed over. No problem there. And then we'll do an underground here. Um, I obviously need to craft a few more undergrounds. We're going to run the green back into our quote unquote bus there. Then we need some long boys. Go there. Long boys. This actually is probably doubling our green chip production already. Then we want to hit it right into there. Just looking for a path through right now. There's actually lots of places it could go through. Just a little bit of pasta. Never hurt anybody. Some fine dining. There we go. Look at that. That is a, a few more reds now. Um, so we do see that it hits a balancer right here in a splitter. We're going to uh, make this all red. Everything here are red belts. The reason for that is because you're unloading so much here. You have double input pretty much. You could use a balancer to connect it. would be better. It would be optimal. But if it goes onto a faster line, it should be okay. You're going to go there, and then we have our underground coming as well. I just see flashing everywhere. My peripheral vision. So now it unloads into a full-size line like that. There you go. You're good. Now our red chips are probably too slow, which is totally acceptable. I'm also going to chest the plastic while we're waiting to utilize it. Just to keep things running. So red chips should be chesting as well. Yeah, there's 900 in there. And that's, uh, that's a good amount. I can support that. Another 100 bots to dump in. Science looks okay. Red is actually backing up a tiny bit. Very, very small amount. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Let's see this. Let's watch. Let's see what they do. Ugh. They just get so deleted. They don't even know what to do. They're panicking. They're panicking. This guy already has 800 kills. How many are you at? 700. 100. 700. 1500. 1800. <laughs> oh, man. Makes me chuckle. We'll remove these unnecessary walls now. Just to make sure our base stays somewhat okay in size. Easier to deal with too when there's not a hundred thousand uh, walls everywhere. Removing redundant stuff before it becomes a big problem. Make some steel furnaces here for the copper. But it looks like everything's backing up on me right now, which is great. 
stone is still slow as all can be. Also looks like somebody here is inputting incorrectly. Well, that really shouldn't be. Someone here is mining coal too. These guys up here. They're actually the problem. You're the problem. So we'll do a filter output. I'm not the problem. You're the problem. And there it goes. Inserted correctly now. Do you need to grab it out for a second? Clean the line out. Uh, sure did mine a lot of coal out. Sure did. Stone is still pretty meh. But there's actually no more I can mine off of that deposit. So we'll leave that as is. Bots are doing bot things. I'd like to get the plastic down here so we can start making more red chips down here and getting our productivity modules would be fantastic. So let's go do that. Fantastic. Miltart 3 is finished. We'll push towards that tank. Do car. Explosives. Tank. All right. Hmm. I prefer it after the buffer. <clears throat> Have a little bit of a space right here. I think I can pull the line out right here somehow. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Now here's an issue too. So if you're inserting directly into a splitter, it does this. It's only putting onto that line. It's not putting on this line. So that's one thing to consider if you have a splitter like that. It needs to be onto a belt first and then into a splitter or it does not work. As you were noticing right there. If this goes to a red belt, this should work. And then you can go here. And I can pull the line out right there. Easy. I think it can span that gap. I hope it can. Ha, oh, beautiful. Well, it's not weaved, which I don't like doing. But it does still work nicely. Weaving is just really annoying when you start using Upgrade Planner and it spazzes everything out. I don't want to run in this line here because if I add more of these buildings, it's going to be totally in the way. So a little bit of future planning here tells me that we'll stay away from those guys. You stay away. And there we go. We got the plastic out now. After the buffer. Make some more of these guys. Grab some of these green chips. We have that chest of iron gears, I think. I don't know. No, we don't. Because this doesn't work anymore. Nothing here works. Ah, uh, we can make it work, though. Do I need this ammo anymore? Nah, we don't need that ammo. Ammo can be officially retired. Uh, we'll make you a passive provider chest. You're not in the logistics network. How many? How much ammo is actually? 1,000 ammo. That's not horrible. I could repurpose that, I think, in the military science. It's a lot, but... So you could chest it, or you could force the building to hold 200. 
while you're waiting. Then these guys are going to hold 200 as well. If you manually place it in, they will grab it. And then I put the 200 on the output here as well. That way, it won't build until it uses those 200. It's like a, it's like a chest, but not really a chest. It's like a, it wants to be a chest, but it's not a chest. So it works like that. Now you're making gears again. These guys are good. Good, easy. Problem solution. Um. Hmm. We'll put a inserter there so it's not just on the back side or the inside. Good. Beautiful. And now to make our more red chips down here because we're going to need to make blue chips soon. What's up here, guys? I think we do make some up here, don't we? Do we start making blues yet? No, we didn't. Blue science, but not blue chips. Um, so here, guys, it shouldn't be too hard to run down, but we need copper cable, electronic circuit. And plastic bars. So we got the copper right here. That's super easy. And then these guys will be reds. It's not quite as aggressive requiring uh, copper for the reds. This is the greens. Because this is just such a slow craft. You can take your time doing this. Yeah, we'll go on the, all the way on the inside. Now it appears it's only on one side like that. So we will grab a splitter and we'll just smash the greens right in here. Easy. Do that. Clean this up a tiny bit. Boom. Now we do want to ensure that it's only going to be on one side. So if I change anything in the future up here on the plastic line, now when this inserts, it's always going to be on the inside. There's no worries of me making a mistake and wrecking that setup later. Because before, historically, I would have just left it like that. But then sometimes you just run into problems. So this will 100% prevent the problem before it ever even happens. Because say in a week's time from now, while I'm still playing on this playthrough, I decide to upgrade it somehow and make a bigger output, now it's not going to be a problem. So I predict a problem in the future, and we are dealing with it. That's the way to do it, I think. Goes like that. And we got red. Iron is not going because this is backwards. We do a little R on that and rotate it. Now we got these red chips. And we need to make blue chips. Do, do, do. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Curious to see if this will work. Aha, uh -huh, it does. So we're pulling everything. So there's a reason why I did double splitter like this. Um, if this was just this here, you'll notice that only the plastic comes out the side. Because I only want greens here right now. I only I don't really want green on one side. So if I put a splitter here, it's just going to pull the green and the plastic will be left. But if I leave this, is nothing. And this side is that. You're going to notice that both resources come through here, but the plastic gets stopped. Because I don't want the plastic. I just want the green chips. I want the green and the reds to make our blues. So I'm kind of like splitting the lineup. Sneakily. So I can keep making my red chips here if I need to. What happened to iron? Who broke the iron? It's like really broken. There's something wrong with the coal. Someone's double feeding somewhere. That's whatever, but... What is going on here? Hmm. 
Turns out it's more of a problem than I thought. Someone's mining coal and... So you could be the problem. Just one mining drill ruining it for everybody. It needs 53,000 iron and coal, so it is worth our while to make it work, I think. 53,000 is quite a bit. I'm no number expert, but I do think 53,000 is a lot. Was it just that one? Yeah, I think it was. Just that one building. Just backs up and backs up and backs up and makes a problem. Okay. Now we're getting more again because all the smelters back turned on. Now these guys are working. It's still not enough. I need I need another outpost. We need to grab that. Whoa! Look at that column. This is how this high guy has some, so many kills. Nine, 1,900 kills. Oh man. Oh man. Let's make some rubber ports and let's go south. Let's go grab that iron. I think it's the closest iron right there. A big iron over there too, but fourteen million. I want that. Can I have that, please? That is what we want. Grab some red chips as well. Don't handcraft the red chips. It's too slow. Handcrafting gears is one thing, but handcrafting red chips. Ugh. And then some more steel. We are chesting it. That is phenomenal. Doing that. Especially when you're just trying to build more stuff. You can just grab right off of there and you're good to go. Looks like the bots have mostly finished our wall sections down there. And we're going to go expand our infrastructure here a bit. <laughs> it's just... Pouring down the heat. So that's going to go right there. Hmm. So that's something like that. I'm going to grab flamethrower turrets on my own. I'm going to grab some more, um, more pipes. And I'll set up the defenses on my own when the bot set up the walls, I believe is the plan. That's the plan. How many walls in the network right now? 3,800 walls. So the bots will do their thing. Um, I have 100 walls on me. So that's enough to deflect a kind of an attack. Got a couple more. I'm going to grab some more turrets too before we go down there. I doubt that'll be enough. So I could stand there and pick up on the line. Or I could just run over here and grab it out of this buffer chest that we have. Tank is teching. That'll be our first outposting technology. How many for repair packs? A thousand repair packs in the network. That's great. Do have a couple flame turrets in the network as well. We're making seven, eight more. So we'll have 15 plus turrets. Well, that should be good. Just need to make sure when I set up, I don't die setting up. Hmm. You're always going to forget something. If you're me. And that time it's power poles. Some of the bots will be coming to bring that. This is going to be a double hostile zone. So both sides are going to get it. So we do need to defend both sides. Ugh. Ugh. We're going to change this up a bit. We'll have the main line going right down the middle. The fuel line, I guess. And then we'll have our turrets on the sides.
practically building on top of the biters, but that sounds like a them problem and not a me problem. So why I brought some walls is so I can do this. Just need a few. That should attack that. Never mention how bad yellow ammo, the basic ammo, is against uh, biters. Die already. I didn't even get to turn it on. <laughs> Outposting with flamethrower turrets. See, that only had fuel for just a second, and it already is able to delete that building. Easy. Did not have fuel for very long. So strong. Uh, in this scenario, I think we'll put it up top. The bottom. Is probably going to get smashed. Super hard. This whole section is going to get smashed super hard. There's no rush here. Setting up. I know I'm being attacked, but... See the pipes get <laughs> deleted. Poor pipes. Hmm. How many more do I have? I have quite a few more. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna push in. I'll go refined flammables, more flamethrower damage. This is why I brought. Some walls with me. So I can do some basic setups. Ooh, painful. Outposting with flamethrower turrets. <laughs> so bad. Uh, so very bad. Killing worms with them. It works, but... Not super well. At this point, I wouldn't mind that forest to my left burning down, so we can build through it, but it's probably not going to happen. I should have more rubble ports on me somewhere, yeah, right here, hiding in my inventory. Uh, we'll kick the rubble ports in a bit here, so they're not uh, dying from biters over here. So many biters. So many biters. I've tried this before a couple other times of outposting with uh, flamethrower turrets. It's just a, it's a logistical nightmare. 
It works, but they don't have a huge range either. And then your pipe dies every two seconds, and then... Like, it does work. Don't get me wrong, it's just... It's kind of fun to look at. <laughs> but it's definitely not the most effective thing in the world. Kinda cool. <laughs> I'm just laughing. It's so funny. It's so funny. What a fiasco. Ooh, that hurts. It just needs fuel for a second. If I can grab that fuel for just a minute. Killing spawners with flamethrower turrets. It never it doesn't get old. It's it's kind of fun to do, but as you're noticing, it's a bit of a bit of an operation here. The worms are the hardest part with them. <laughs> uh, come on. If that's not fun, I don't know what is. Uh, a lot of time to be alive. Outposting with flamethrower turrets. You saw it here first, folks. Yeah, I, I, I honestly played this game a lot. I don't know too many other people who've ever used flamethrower turrets for outposting. Mostly because it's an absolutely horrible idea. And I get that. Um, looks like we're totally walled in here. We have a little wall section like that. So we can just dump probably a few more turrets over here in all honesty. This guy's getting pretty hammered, but we can pull the defenses back a bit now. It doesn't need to be that forward like that instead. Mm -hmm. So he can grab this little corner there. You can grab right there. So that's okay too. You're okay there. This guy doesn't need to be there either anymore because they have overlapping arcs of fire. I'm going to get the uh, deconstruction tree guy. Rip these trees out because they're kind of in my way. Um, the question comes down to do we leave this section of wall in case it fails, but I really hope that section doesn't fail, so no. We're going to... We're going to remove that. Just make sure we don't remove that power line. Beautiful. I'll grab my turrets. We have seven more turrets left in our inventory, which is great. need some more power lines right now we'll maybe start making some modules 20th chimes 20th time is the charm for clicking why I don't know I just don't know sometimes I just click we don't have a lot of buildings here but as long as we get it started we're doing things and we'll output right there. We do need a billion of these, so. We'll put them into a passive provider. I will let it fill up an entire chest. If it wants to fill up an entire chest of those, have at her. Have at her. I would love a radar up here so I can see what's going on up there a bit better. Have my power hold. That's another thing with the flamethrower turrets, too, is they don't use power. So if you're out of a big laser defense like we're doing right now, you're using a lot of power. And these guys are, even if I look at my oil reserves, they're still pretty high. And I only have two little oil 
splats being harvested right now. There's a third right under that wall section. So that's, that's a very little bit of oil. And it works quite nicely, so. Big advocate of oil-based defenses. It's just so hard to go wrong. Like maybe a bit more coverage over there. Yeah, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Coming out of the walls. So now we're at uh, 337 bots. That's not so bad. I have five rubble ports on me still. I'll put another thing there just to kind of connect the entire base. Uh, grab me belts because I don't know why. Um, I actually came for power lines though. I came for power lines, but that's clearly way too many. I'll throw my pistol on the ground. Yeah, I guess I could do this. If the bots don't want to do it. I'll do it then. Good, good, good. Get to put some radar action down here as well. So we now started our first uh, branching part of our base to expand and uh, get some more resources. Attempt to outpost anyways. The bots are going to be down here pretty constantly now, too. Until I can actually clear this colony out, which I probably should because it seems to be causing some issues. So if that goes there, I'm just... Uh, forward planning this for a second. You only want to place it down when it's ready to uh, be dropped. Kill the worm. Even the bots are in there already. Good bots. So we got two spawners over there still. So I can drop that like that. Is that going to hit the spawners? Oh, oh, it will. No, it won't. Oh, it will? I can't tell. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> it's hitting the spawners. Bots are repairing. Good bots. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're not going to hit that worm. That's okay. I don't really care about the worm. The worm's not the problem. It's the spawners. And there's, what, two more spawners down here? We can do the same thing like this. to wall myself in there. I was about to die. A horrible, horrible death. <laughs> uh, almost got it. Almost got it. Look at the bodies. Look at the bodies everywhere. So funny. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Uh, I can't quite hit the spawner, though. It's so close. If I do that, will it hit? Yeah, I think it will. Uh, I have to take a screenshot there. 
for my own sanity. That's pretty funny. We win. We win. This part of the island and now belongs to us. You lose, biters. We are the champions. But yeah, we'll stop the episode there. And then hopefully next episode we can uh, get this iron deposit up and running. Uh, we do have tanks now. So we can make a tank and start doing some hit and runs as well. And uh, yeah, so I want to say thanks everyone for watching the bloody battlefield that was Flamageddon 2020. And until next to me, this is Yamakar. Ciao for now.